Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight and today we're at Pasuri village right on top of the hill there's Pasuri Bay down there but we'll be able to see Pasuri Bay hopefully when we go up the hill there's this sign telling us where everything is left is the cemetery we've got an amphitheater up there somewhere St Andreas Church that's down there village square council offices there's even a diving centre Cyprus Diving Adventures Hillview Restaurant Hotel Apartments right where should we go first should we go down here and have a look at this little area don't know what's going on here let's have a look maybe this is a cemetery yeah, we've got a little place where you can light the candles. Oh, what's this? Should we go up this way? Let's go up this way and have a look around, shall we? Oh, there's a gate. Looks a bit spooky, look. Walls are cracked. Oh, it's an house an old house maybe we should go up that way the public way yes definitely go up this way we did say cemetery this way and I thought this was a cemetery look it's all cordoned off maybe we should just go up this way guys always seem to go in the wrong direction well we are out to discover some new places so maybe we should go off the beaten track oh look at there's some parking underneath this building there we are you have to check the height of your vehicle otherwise you could end up with a shorter vehicle all right let's go up this slope I do like a slope but it's a slopey road it's quite high up now if you don't like walking up hills guys Pasuri is definitely not the place for you everything seems to be on hillsides and then we've got that marvelous bay on our left now I'm calling it a valley rather than a bay Look, we've got this marvellous icon there, massive icon. We'll make our way back up. We'll be able to see what's going on up here. Dirt road up here. I wonder if you can get to the church going round towards the village square, or do we have to take the dirt road? Ah, oh, there's a path, look, up there, can you see? I don't think we have to take the dirt road. Let's continue up. It's quite good because we're going up first and the only way is down when we return to the car. If we can find the car, there's the restaurant, look, right on the top of the hill up there. some more people visiting the village I think taking a stroll oh there's a little chapel up there wow right let's go up the slope here we are oh quite an incline going up but we're getting a fantastic view already Look at this, isn't it amazing? There's loads of villas down there. Look, uh, those ones have not been used by the looks of it. There are lots and lots of villas or houses to rent down at the bay. Oh wow, this looks amazing. 
here we are at the top not too bad a climb we've got a date of 2007 hmm I think it's older than that and been restored we go around the back first here we are not too sure guys until we get in quite modern doors let me see if I can see the view from the back of the church there we are not bad view from here we are quite high up oh, I wonder what this is looks like some sort of chicken coop there we are it does doesn't it guys so a ladder going up it's locked storage or something let's peep through and have a look there's some sort of storage area it's very strange looks like we've got a place where you can light a candle and then this does anyone know what this is guys is it a well there's a door on the side i don't know if we can open that door yeah oh look this little place where you can light another candle no, some sort of burial or memorial not too sure and why is we've got a area here look fantastic views but what's this all about it's partly collapsed and it's gated oh this area here i don't know what that's about guys it's strange let's go in the church Oh, on your step. <laughs> there you go. There's the side entrance. Let's see if we can get to the front. Or is that the front? Oh, that was the front. Okay. Normally get a side entrance as well. Let's see if it's open. Oh, we're all locked up. That's a shame, guys. So we're all locked up. Never mind. We've got lots of dates everywhere. We've got 2000 here. So the church must have been refurbished in 2007 because uh, we've got a date here of 2000 and then we've got another one here of 1996. No guys, maybe that's a memorial for these people who died in 1996. So it's a bit uh, of a mystery bit hickety pickety I think no idea what's going on here oh wow look at that house over there it's collapsed oh I've never seen that before I have seen old houses collapsed no wonder those houses down there have been left abandoned they've actually collapsed can you see the ones on the left they've collapsed down these ones on the right seem to be okay and the one at the back which looks like an older house has collapsed totally I might get down there if I can and have a look at those houses collapsed houses never seen that before not modern houses anyway we've seen lots of the old village houses that have collapsed especially up on the mountains up Chudos and I suppose we are on the side of a hill wow definitely want to see those abandoned villas should we call them villas guys or houses not too sure fancy word for houses villas should we call them collapsed villas here we are Right, down the slope and then we'll continue up round the village I have parked just down there you see down there now let's make a point of going to the collapsed houses which are on the right okay we'll see if we can find them once we've done a little village tour let's walk round this hillside 
it's hard work oh wow it smells beautiful up here now i think we're coming up to the old part of the village look at this old stone wall loads of new houses around but look at this one here on the left there's the restaurant look hill view apartments and restaurants right at the top hmm but i'm going to walk down here because this is the old village this is very interesting isn't it guys wow here we are look at this old house here beautiful old house looks like part of it's been lived in you can see at the top there two stories and then this outbuilding there's another cute little house here I like this one here with the courtyard here we are oh isn't that lovely look at that lovely little courtyard there's the one on the right look at this one on the right with its traditional blue doors there we are probably someone using that for their holiday right Shelley and Richie let's go a little further up around the old part of this beautiful village look at this house here looks like their old stone walls collapsed number 61 yet another beautiful old house number 64 now that's got an outbuilding at the back traditional in Cyprus you've got your outbuildings at the back and that's where the kitchen would be oh this is my favorite place these fantastic old houses mostly restored look at this one it's been restored two stories as per usual there's a courtyard and you can just make out at the back is the kitchen and the toilet facilities here we are so loads and more old houses at the top will end up at this one here then we'll work our way downhill just want to do this one here because it looks lovely number 69 hello look at that isn't it beautiful well i think it's beautiful guys it's got a traditional balcony and maybe in the past this was some sort of shop or garage and then they lived on top And what's that there? It's a price list. There, that's the old house. Look, number 75. Number 77 is quite modern. What is that? Oh, it's a price for transfers to the airport. Obviously, a taxi drive of some sort. Oh, I like this one. this is nice still lived in there we are partly restored there we are. maintained to a certain standard certain livable standard and then there's this one here from the 1960s I would say number 78 quite a lot of these old houses would have been inherited by several people and they'd either use it for their holiday houses and restore them or they just leave them abandoned right now I'm not sure which way to go now we're totally lost aren't we totally lost. we'll go downhill we came uphill we'll go downhill if we go downhill we're sure to get to uh, where the car's parked which is next to the church and next to those collapsed houses okay oh i like that one that's lovely is it number 64 there we are oh bumped into that going up i'm not talking about guys here we are, number 
And I like that one here on the right. That's partly restored, isn't it? Looks like they've kept it up to scratch. There we are, there's a sign for Pasuri Jetty. And this little village used to export carobs, or carob sticks. And there's a little jetty down there where the boat or ship used to come in and load up the carob sticks. Oh look, it's a charity shop. We just popped into this lovely second hand shop that also helps dogs. Proceeds go to towards helping dogs, that's good. So we've picked a few bits. Oh, these are reasonable. All oh, lots of things to choose from. Great. Hats and everything. Oh, I'm gonna go down there, have a look around, pick a few bits out. What a lovely shop. We just bought a nice pair of curtains for the bedroom. It's a good idea. Supporting the dogs as well. Here we are, there's a pet food shop. Lots of pet food in there. So I presume we're still in the old village. Yes, here we are. We've got some beautiful old houses down here. Amazing. Look at this one on the left. I think this is a new extension on number 42. And then this is the old part over there, you see. There we are, the gate in between. And look at that lovely old house at the back with a tin roof. Can you see the new house and this lovely, amazing old house attached to it? Oh, look at this one, it's got pillars. This must have been someone special on the right hand side. Look at this one here, number 31. Maybe it's an old shop. Oh, it's a front facade. There's nothing in the back. Look, let me show you. Look, nothing in the back. You can just make it out. Let's clean the glass. There we are. Oh no, there is a bit of a building left. Oh yeah, here we are. There's the old kitchen. Oh, one moment. One moment, guys. One moment. This must have been some sort of bakery or shop. You see the counter. Here, look. There, where you hand the money. Have you seen this? It's very interesting. So I think this was some sort of uh, maybe a bank because it's got security and things. Hello. Definitely an old shop. Oh, guys, I've just asked a local down there here, and it was an old cinema how about that amazing and that must have been the ticket booth there's the ticket booth you see there yes two tickets please and you go through here you see let's go around the back and have a look wow the old cinema oh there's a house oh tripped over or oh, come back to that so there we are that was really exciting oh it does look like a little cinema doesn't it and that's where the board would go up to advertise see what's going on there and there's a new apartments built next door wow the old cinema moved along we've come round the village and this way we picked up our curtains from the help the dog shop and we found the amphitheatre fantastic views from this car park looks like we've got free parking as well which is great oh it looks like there's a apartment or hotel there on the left look at that so it's covered in plants it says Pusuriana I think it says Pusuriana or something so 
let's have a look at the beautiful valley look at that and that amazing there's the old village all around here on this hillside mixed up brand new houses with those amazing old village houses mostly being restored and we'll go on to the amphitheater which is just here on our right I think it's new well it certainly looks new maybe restored let's go and have a look shall we it's big it's massive now there are lots of concerts here taking place throughout the year oh look is this a sort of gladiator entrance down here below do you think let's go at the top yeah brand new steps let's go around and have a look around at the main theatre oh look at this oh it looks like they're setting up for another concert now i do know that morelli events puts on quite a few shows down here Go and ask these chaps what they're doing. Oops. Sounds like they're testing the sound effects. Oh, that sounds fantastic. recognize that tune the sound engineers hear us checking everything fantastic acoustics if that's what you call it killed a man put a gun against his head pulled the trigger now he's dead so there we are fantastic amphitheatre and we've got Queen playing here tonight that'd be a fantastic show oh I'm going the wrong way got lost again oh car park's over there Oh, there's the front of the hotel we've just spotted. Oh, there's the dive centre. Ah, the dive centre's within the hotel. Oh, that makes sense, doesn't it, guys? Oh, wow, look at that view. It's so quiet here. This is a fantastic place to enjoy a week or two I think especially if you've got a family and you want to rent one of those beautiful houses down in the bay or is it just a few of you what about a nice apartment up the top there there we go so you could have a holiday within a holiday couldn't you guys and come here for a few days look at that lovely old house it's a pathway up here that's not used a lot it's quite a climb I think with some old tavernas look it's Mariel's and Andonis's little taverna oh, let's just let this car go past there we are another gardener Spotted a few gardeners on the way. I'm not surprised. Some beautiful gardens in this area. Even the land around the houses is well kept. Some of the land that is not being used. Oh look, the corner kiosk. Grab a little drink. 
order do I scream? Nope, let's resist. Barn calf there. Oh, look at this quaint little place here. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Little cobbled street with some fantastic old houses that have been converted into restaurants. Let's go down here and see what else we can discover. Oh, look. An ice cream shop. Oh, one moment. 15 ice cream flavours. One scoop, two euros. Oh, very reasonably priced. And the soft drinks are two euros. Oh, that's nice. Oh, they do milkshake as well. At three euros fifty. There's the pub, the Leo Sparty pub. Highway restaurant. Oh, look at that. Tucked away down there. So well, let's carry on down the square, shall we? Lots of little taverners and restaurants everywhere. Oh wow, look at this fountain. Isn't it amazing? Look at that. Fantastic. Wow. That is lovely, isn't it? There's the Flamingo Bar and the Souvenir Shop and Supermarket. What's that? Oh look, more of these little villas and bits and pieces for sale I think these are. Oh there is one for rent, there we are. 500 euros per month. So there we are. Right, where to now? Oh, it's a little bar or something for sale there. So this is Carl, we just met another friend and viewer. Hello. Hello, are you enjoying your holiday up here? Uh, we're not on holiday, we live here now. Only oh, for three years, you? only temporarily. But oh, wow, amazing. Yeah. I'm going to go and meet your wife. She's having a little drink down there, look. That's She's a... waving at her, please. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Isabella's going to be gutted that she weren't here to see you. And that's your daughter, is it? My stepdaughter, yeah. Angie's oh, daughter. wow. And she's an avid follower. She's well, an let's avid go follower. and see your wife okay, do and okay, say hello. You. Right, let's go past a viewer, shall we? Oh, look at this lovely lady here. Hello. Oh, hello. Nice How to are meet you? you? Can I take your name? Angelina. That's right, your husband did say. Yes. And we've missed your daughter, haven't we? Yes, yeah, Where like, is she? She's on a DV bronze expedition walk. Oh, okay. Um, in Abdimu. Right, and where are you guys living now? Akrotiri. Oh, right, which isn't far from here, not is far, it? No, not far at minutes all. Away. So yeah, you've come right. to this beautiful village, and so have we. It's amazing, isn't it? Beautiful. Fantastic. Fantastic. The oh, yes, there's a show tonight. Did you know? Oh, really? Oh, no. Yes, there is a show tonight. We've missed out because we've booked a table down at the captain's restaurant. Oh, captain's table down oh, at the, on the front. On the front? Yes, yeah. we're going down there tonight. Fantastic, yeah. Peter. Bye. 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 Oh, which way we've got to go, by the way, guys? You're familiar with this area. Should we go that way? Down and left and check out Bunch of Grapes. That's the, that's the one to one to have. Right, we'll go down and left. That's our instructions. Thank you very much. All the best. There. Off we go. We're going to go down and have a look at the Bunch of Grapes restaurant. That's the one recommended by our friends. And then we'll do a right again. Hmm, nice smell. Oh look, there's a sign there, the bunch of grapes. Oh look at this lovely old house here. Oh, isn't it beautiful? And then we've got this amazing narrow road. Look at number one. An amazing courtyard. Oh wow, that is beautiful. There's next door. Oh, that's been used. There we are. Oh, there it is. Isn't it quaint? Look at this. So this is where our friends have recommended to eat. It's called a bunch of grapes. Actually, it's a bunch of grapes in. So it's like a, a pub restaurant, is it? No, it's more of a restaurant, isn't it lovely? Shall we go in and have a look around and then uh, 
and we'll work our way round the village. Oh, it's a traditional old house. It's a big old house, look. There's the bedrooms up the top. And then that would have been the living area and the outbuildings. And then this courtyard. So guys, we've come down the road. There's the church on the left. Oh, we can't quite see it. There's the amphitheater there. And I did say I want to come down and have a look at these houses that have collapsed. Look at these, they're quite new houses. Looks like uh, something's collapsed, I'm not sure. We are on the hillside. Look at that. That's just come away. There it is. They're little bungalows. It's, just, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Look at this. I wonder if they ever lived in. Perhaps they weren't ever lived in. Wow. Look at this. Oh, the fireplace. Looks like there was a fire there, perhaps. Look at the massive cracks. So, barbecue area. Let's kind of look out here. See, that house next door seems fine. This one's totally collapsed. Look at the side. Wow, oh, amazing. There we are. It looks like it's all collapsed on that side, guys. So this is where the subsidence taken place. Or maybe there's been some sort of flood. Who knows? Something's caused it. Something's caused the whole land underneath these houses to disappear. Can we get over there? Be careful. Let's have a look. Oh, here we are. Jump. Oh, here we are. Hey, look. look at this ground come up. Here we are. Let's have a look. Your wardrobes here. There's the bathroom. Let's have a look at the ground underneath. There, can you see? It looks like it's been swept away. The ground underneath has been swept away. Oh, oh, makes you feel dizzy. The whole place is that way. Oh, it's like being on the ship. Look at the bathroom. It's got to climb up to see the bathroom. Look. Right, I'm going to go this way and get out of this place. Oh. The door frames over the step that's partly collapsed. Oh, we can get out of this way. Wow. Here we are. A collapsed house. What's over here? Oh, that's the garden, guys. A collapsed house over there. You can see the walls have collapsed. This is the road we came down trying to establish what happened here guys maybe there was a flush flood of water come down and took away all the soil look at this particular one see the houses behind there they're, they're fine just these ones here in this valley this tiny bit here there we are look also it's got massive cracks look at the ground it's lifted around this one's got curtains here we are it's even got furniture and some hangers maybe someone lived in here before disaster strike here we are that doesn't look too bad some big cracks there 
massive cracks here. Let's go around here. Oh, looks like the windows have gone. Yeah, uh, kitchen. Not too bad at all, actually. Yes, bit floor's a bit. Oh, almost made me feel dizzy again. Floor's a bit bent. Yeah, it's just come away there. The chimney's come away from the house. Got some subsidence here. Well, this one's definitely repairable, I think, guys. Unless the ground's disappearing. <laughs> Who knows? You see that house up there? It's perfectly fine. And these ones all collapsed. All the ground around the house has either lifted or collapsed. Right, let's get out of here. Here's the garage. Yeah, we're back out. You can see these beautiful villas around us. Oh, we'll fine, just these ones here, this particular one, and this one behind these conifers. So we've done some urban exploring. We've seen that beautiful village. We've met some new friends. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.